with your host Laura Lee and Manny M U A. Hey, 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 hey! How are you guys doing this gorgeous day? My face doesn't match my neck, but we're not going to talk about it. Let's talk about it. No, I forgot to put foundation lower. <laughs> my hair looks like a Long Island medium, but we're not going to talk. Let's about talk about it. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because it reminds you just like, you know, Mean Girls, very full of secrets. Just it is hair. full of secrets. It's full of cheese meh. It is. Mm -hmm. It absolutely mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. And I like it. Um, Today, me and Minnie thought it would be a good idea to deep dive on the top five conspiracy <gasps> theories that have to do with people and pop culture. <gasps> I'm actually really excited because I, um, we did, remember when we did an episode dedicated, we're going to, we're going to mention her again, but to Avril Lavigne mm -hmm. and we did like, is she actually Avril or is she not real? Mm -hmm. Uh, a, an impersonator. An impersonation. So we have a couple of different uh, conspiracies that we would like to throw at you and see what you guys think. I think it'd be kind of fun. I don't know. Laura came up with this genius idea to do a conspiracy theory episode. And I was like... No, you came up with the idea. Did I really? Yeah, I just came up with the idea to do top five pop, pop culture. Oh, you're, you're right, like, you're we right. should do conspiracy theory. You're so right. I forgot. You're so right. Oh, yeah. my God. Me over here being like... Yeah. No, I did, I did come with something. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally right. Okay. Cha-ching! That's the sound you'll hear when you switch your business to Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell, online, in person, on social media, and beyond. I and Laura are huge fans of Shopify. We've been on Shopify for since the beginning of our brand's conception. Yeah. If you guys want to sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash full coverage, that's all lover case. That's one month for just $1 at shopify.com slash full coverage. Shopify.com slash full coverage. Thank you so much to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Who wants better sex and who wants to start having it immediately? Woo! <laughs> yeah, the best way to get started is to go to adamneve.com right now. Manny knows. He stays on that website, honey. <laughs> Baby, I have bought from that site myself. Life size lube. <laughs> Life size lube. The size of lube. me, Laura. The size of me. Just enter the code full at checkout. That's full F-O-O-L at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast. So be sure to use this code full to get your discount 50% off almost any item plus free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code full. This episode of full coverage is sponsored by smalls they make it so easy and what's cool is there was one mil in there my cats didn't love as much so they mm. actually allowed for us to switch out oh yeah you can customize it wait to that's the, actually really cool it's really cool so we've been loving it i'm telling you it's such a good switch it's 2024 are you still feeding your cat kibble head to smalls.com slash full and use promo code full at checkout for 50 percent off your first order plus free shipping that's the best offer you'll find but you have to use our code full for 50 percent off your first order one last time, that's promo code FOOL for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. So, we have to pink it first, but I don't have a pink pit. Um, I do. I wrote it down. Damn! As well. okay. You're quick! Oh, my peak is okay, you that... You do yours. You do yours. My peak is that I ran five miles on Saturday at the beach. I don't think I've ever five ran... Five miles? I don't think I've ever ran that far before. It was more it's like crazy. a jog, to be honest, but jogging is running. Like, if I did a full sprint, I wouldn't have made it, but I like probably like one mile, maybe. But like, so I, it was kind of like a, like a, like a jog. Like, okay. I jogged the full five miles. Um, how? I don't know, but I'm going to tell Physically, you. Physically, how did you do that? I probably should never do it again, to be honest. Mm hmm. Because the pain I was in, it, you know how you normally wake up the next day in pain after you work out or second course, day? Of so course, second day. Uh huh. I was sore two hours after Damn. I finished the run. Yeah, like, so it was fast. Like I couldn't walk. The, remember you, by I remember the you texting me like my left cheek. Oh yeah, it cramped up my thighs. Everything was just immobile. I was in so much pain. And don't y'all even come tell me to stretch. If you don't run five miles regularly, if you don't run regularly, you're gonna be <laughs> sore after running, regardless of how much you stretch. You stretch before and after. So Laura is so flexible, you guys. Oh! Good. You have no idea. Laura it's can the do yoga. these wild things. It's the like uh, we did not need that, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler goes, "Yeah, she can." <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're blushing. Ah, no, it's my blush. <laughs> it's the blush. Um, but no, you're really flexible, and I feel like if people like if people knew how flexible you are, they you wouldn't be like you need to stretch before and after. Also, if they like knew. girl, the stretching. This woman I can put can her do, legs behind her head. I can. 
I actually can. No. Because our <laughs> listeners won't get to see. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Our <laughs> listeners, we love you as well. You know we love you and we care for you That's if you're listening right. and you're not watching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, I ran five miles and I'm really proud of myself for doing it. I may try to do it again. I don't know when. I'm not going to try to like make like sculpt classes more my thing for my workouts and hot yoga is more my thing for my detoxes and a little bit of a workout. But um, I don't know if I'm going to make running my thing. I just wanted to challenge myself and see if I just could try do it. To try, vibe. see the mm-hmm. vibe, see if I liked it. I did enjoy it. You did? I did. I, oh, I actually wow, loved nice. it. I had my little music playing and I was just running away from all my problems in my life. Mm-hmm. And then once mm-hmm. the five mile stop, you said <sighs> all, the, all the problems came running right back. I almost ran six miles because I was so far from my car by the time I hit five miles. Oh, yeah. So I was back. like, I might as well run back. I mean, I might as well. I, mean, uh, I honestly had to get home by lunchtime, too. So I had to run back to my car at that point. But. I had to post some stuff, but mm. I did it. I'm really proud of myself. I've been trying to challenge myself this year with new things. I'm proud of you. And uh, my five miler was it. So who kn- I'll let you guys know if I do it again, but I don't know if I'm if I'm wanting to go through all that pain again. I'm telling you, I was in right. so much pain. And I had signed up for a sculpt class the next day. And Dude. so yeah. But I did it. I did that too with my sore ass legs. I, I mean, did you it. are just an active girly. I am. I'm you an are. active girly. Remember when, do you remember when you didn't really like to work out? Mm-hmm. But that was more so lifting. You just had to find your rhythm of what you did like. Yeah. You know, and this is like you found something that you're like passionate about mm-hmm. that you enjoy with sculpt. That's and with why I always tell people whenever they don't like working out, I'm like, you just got to find the workout that works for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what's your version? Like, of I even out? tried personal trainers, and they'd always be like, you need to lift weights mm-hmm. and do this. But it's like, if if that's not going to put get me in the gym because I hate doing stuff like yes, that you just so have to get much, in there. you have to figure out like what will get you in there. And then now I'm branching out and trying different stuff. So I love that. So I started with yoga technically. Yeah. And then I moved on to sculpt, which is basically you, it's you hot Pilates. You already started with hot yoga, right? You started with hot yoga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I started with hot yoga. Then I moved on to sculpt, which is like hot Pilates. Mm-hmm. And then now I'm trying running. So you see, you can branch out. And try you just got to do things. different things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. We mm-hmm. did tennis that one time. Tennis. That's fun. That's a fun cardio builder. Big time. Big time. You know, so I feel like it really is about finding like your rhythm, your cadence, what works for you, and yeah. just don't give up on like the idea of you know, working out or being healthier, just like doing little, just little changes can make a huge difference too. Like, I feel like even for me, like I always like try to go in, like I like lifting. So that's something I'm passionate about. So I want to go into the gym and lift and I like playing tennis. That's my like cardio version. So those are my, what works for me. Yeah, things, exactly. You know? I love that. What's your mm-hmm. peak? My peak is that since I've, I, you know, you know, Zay has obviously been at the house for, I mean, forever, but she has been like bedridden essentially because of her surgery. So I've been bedridden with her because I'm obviously a, a psycho dog parent. And I've just been binging shows <gasps> the last literal four days in bed with her next to me. So I just want to talk about that. Let's hear what she And just like I've been, so there's this show called on Amazon called Vox Machina. It's really fun. It's like a cartoon, a inappropriate like TVMA adult. adult cartoon, but it's so well written. It's so well done. It's funny as fuck. It's a great, great show. Avatar Last Airbender. Oh, I saw that advertised. <laughs> yeah. But how, okay. Are you going to watch on it? On Disney? On Netflix. Oh, no. Mm mm. Laura, you could watch it. You're going to love it. I don't know. I don't think you'll love it, to be honest. But the <laughs> thing is, like, so it's so funny because my brothers were watching it and my dad was like, what are you watching? And then he sat down, watched the entire thing. <gasps> my dad binged it all. My mom is now watching it. Oh, my God. So it's really funny. Like, my entire family has gone into watching Avatar. Where are they at your house right now? No, that was at that their place. But uh, Aaron and Nick had visited their place. When? Like, last week. Were you there last week? No, no, I wasn't. It was them. Oh. They, like, so the, they text me and they're like, oh my God, we're they watching Avatar. You, and I'm like, they text you. I thought they walked in when you were no, watching. No, no, no. Like I was this, like, this last where weekend. were you there? No, okay. no, no. Got it, got it. So they're watching as well. So I'm like, oh my God, this is so fun. Like, it's nice to like see that. Uh, Finish. I'm caught up all the way on Traders. Me too. So good. You guys should watch Traders. Traders. It's on Peacock. They bring a bunch of different people from reality TV shows together. And honey, it's a game. And of- they compete. Compete to find out who's real in the group and who's a traitor. And if they kick out all it's the like traitors or vote them out. One Night Ultimate Werewolf and a show version. Uh, one Night Ultimate Werewolf, the game. You just figure out who's like the werewolf, essentially the traitors in the show. But it's like cool because it is from like different walks of life. Survivor and what? Drag Race yep. and Big Brother and people. The challenge. Like all these people from different things. The Bachelor. So it's really, really fun show. I'm caught up on all that. So I've just been at home Chilling, binging. I haven't been able I to really that. work out, which has been like, yeah. 
but it's been nice just getting to be with her and just chill and like relax and like just yeah yeah it's been nice. Like, That's I, me every weekend. Yeah. And I don't have a You're dog. Like, I'm, not... it's surgery. I'm just watching So I've literally just been uh, on my binge grind. I love that. It's been lovely. I watched the new season of True Detective. It's not as good as the other seasons, but I really, really liked it. And it's okay. definitely worth the watch. You just can't compare it. Never seen. It's one of those TV shows where all the seasons are completely different. <sighs> new cast, everything. Is it about different cases? Uh-huh. Okay. And like that. all that. Like, they're all completely different. My favorite is obviously the one with Matthew McConaughey and with Ooh. Woody Harrelson. Harrelson. But um, this one's really, really good, too. So I watched that, and then I'm watching Love Island UK. I'm watching Traitors. And Love I'm, is Blind. Love is Blind, and I'm watching The Floor on Hulu. But all these shows are like, I'm are, I'm getting one episode a week. Yeah, you know what yeah I mean? I'm not, not like, like binging, binging them all because they don't have new episodes. But. I've been on a binger. Yeah. And I like a binger. Yes. I prefer a binge. I love a binger. I prefer You've to been watching wait. Drag Race, too. And Drag Race. Catching up on Drag but Race I UK. I prefer to wait till all the episodes are out, if I could, and just watch the show, like, in one setting. Like, that's, that's what, what I prefer I love. to do. Me, too. I don't like the week by week thing. I get disinterested. Me, too. Mm-hmm. I, and I forget. I'm like, wait, is it, has it come out yet? Like, I'll forget what day it is. Yeah. Also, like, when you work from home, like, a lot of times I feel like the days blend together a they, lot of times. They're such a blur. Like, I don't know what day's day. Yeah. Like which is which? Because your routine's different every single day. That's why. Like you're not going to nine mm-hmm. to five every day. Like mm-hmm. it's a different activity every. Like today we'll film on the podcast the whole day, and tomorrow will be. At something least that's why different. I know it's a Tuesday. Yeah, that's that's how. It's that's a my one. I'm like, I know it's Tuesday because we're filming the pod on Tuesday. So like that's like my day that I'm like, okay, and that's all I got. And that's any it. other day, fucked. Boop. Drag race on Friday. And drag. So I know Tuesdays and Fridays. That's all I got. I love that. And me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what's your pit? My pit is that my real pinky nail. Y'all no. have probably seen this stupid mandate on my pinky. It's going to be there cute, for a actually. long, long time. It's a very cute band I accidentally lifted my real pinky nail off the bed. And so. What does that mean? So is that mean like the. um? It ripped up. The, but the real nail came up. And that hurts like a And I kept there. feeling this really weird air and cold water sensation, like air and <sighs> cold water. And I'd be like, oh, uh, that feels weird. On your pinky. Yes. And then I looked closely and like lifted the fake and nail. Like that? Yep. And it just shows all like the, the whole. Re- yeah. It's lifted. And Wait, then why? I went through like three days of pain. So I hit it. Like hit the nail, the okay, fake nail, okay. and it ripped my real nail oh. up. So like the base down here of my real nail is still attached, but like probably halfway is like lifted from the nail bed. And I have this Band-Aid on because it's keeping my nail on. Because if this accidentally hits something, I'm going to lose the whole nail. And your I will not have too? a Yes, I will not have a nail. So you're telling me that it would literally be just skin? skin? Yes. So it only have... hurt for like three days. Like at three days, like it couldn't touch anything because it yes. was sore. And yes. now the nail is still lifted, but like it's healed. Okay. And then, so I'm not in pain anymore. I'm just having to Why like. Why can't it just reattach to your skin? It, it does. Nails don't work like that. They have to grow out. To reattach, it won't stick back down. So it has to grow out. So every day I put a Band-Aid on because if this thing hits something, it will the rip. Whole thing's the gone. whole thing's gone because there's and not And that would much. feel like literal hell. Even like when I run my fingers no. through my hair, if the hair pulls it, you can feel the lift. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my God. So and does it still hurt? No. So if it were to lift but, but right if now, it, lifts, it, it hurts. Hurt. It hurts. Okay, got it, got it. But like it was just throbbing on its own because of the detachment was like painful. Mm-hmm. So it was just like throbbing on its own or if I tapped on anything, it would Has hurt. Has that happened to you before? Not really, no. I never, like, no. that's literally, literally as if something, like, you, like, slam your door on your finger and then the nail comes off because it right. dies or whatever. So it's kind of like that, but I, in like, a different way. I, like, hit the fake nail and the fake nail took my real nail with it when it lifted. That's some strong glue. <gasps> that's what my sponsor Kiss was, these is out these here nails. with that strong-ass glue. Yeah. And I still have these nails on. And the, the fake Shout nail. Shout out to Kiss. Is still on. If you can <laughs> yeah. see, I cut it down really short so yes, it wouldn't so it hit anything oh, yeah. or bump anything. Maybe let me tell you something. My, me, I'm like this. Oh, no. <laughs> With my, biting my nail. Like this. <laughs> I would mm. shave that shit down. Yeah, so I shaved it that's down so short scary. and I'm keeping it basically taped down. But that's a pit. You know, that sucks. That's a pit from hell. It's also quite the nuisance because I try to keep my pinky up when I do anything so I don't use it. Because <gasps> naturally you use all your... You don't know how much you use that pinky nail until it's Until you can't. It's like, your, it's like your neck. You're yeah. like, damn, I don't know. I need my neck for everything. Yeah. So. Lord, I'm so sorry. That's horrible. Thank you, Manny. What's your pit? You my missing a pit. nail or anything? I just... You know what my pit is? The fucking trade of my life. <sighs> The trade has been trying me, Laura. Really? Yes. I hit up one of my trades. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Let's hang out tonight. Okay. 
He's like, I'm out of town till March 5th. Oh, wow. Okay, that's so annoying. That, this is literally yesterday, How right? How dare you? I was like, okay, whatever. I hit up another trade. <gasps> what do you have to? I just got back in from Arizona. I can't do anything tonight. Maybe Wednesday. And I'm like, but I was horny last night. Oh, okay, I texted God. my third trade. I'm like, okay, this is like my Damn, last shot you got right a now. Rolodex. You got a Rolodex of trade. Do y'all have a Rolodex of trade like many of you have? <laughs> I had my third trade. And? Doesn't respond to me. <gasps> Blocked. No booty for you. What the literal fuck? No booty for you. You guys, last night I was... <gasps> You're going to have to get a new Rasta. I'm going to now need another fucking Rolodex. Uh-huh. I'm so tired of this shit. I don't... like. I, <laughs> I'm like, I have options here. In and y'all are unavailable. Very unavailable. At the same time, mm. imagine they're all fucking themselves. <gasps> probably. No, no. They probably they are. Not free. So I'm like... <sighs> so now that's, that's my pit is that like I wanted to get pounded out and it didn't work. I have Daniel do it. <laughs> I took it too far. Took it way too far. Too far. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so now I'm gonna have to try to find a new set. Oh. You guys, I don't want to find a new set. I already like these ones. This oh works out great. God. It's hard, honestly, trying to find good trade trade in Los Angeles. It can't be that hard. Cause girl, if you were in Alabama, you ain't getting nan. No, honestly, it's it's not that bad. It's more so finding good trade that like you can trust mm. and depend that you like. That's not gonna give you disease. That's like what I'm talking about. <laughs> Got it. Like I can like hook up with like I can throw a stone and like we're gonna hook up. Like it's yeah, not gonna be that yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more so like people quality. that you fuck with. You're yeah. looking for quality over quantity. Like can we even, can we talk after? You're looking for quality and quantity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I would like both. Yeah. I would like options. You know, I'm an Aries. Like I like I like options. I like to So your astrological sign is why you're a hoe? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what's why. It's the Aries in me that makes you want to be a hoe. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And the Virgo in me is the reason I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and that also makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm looking for trade. So if there's any trade out there. <laughs> Look, <laughs> by the way, trade is just like a hot guy. To hook up with. To hook up with. It's, like, it's literally like a guy that you're like hooking up with, not like you're going to wife Didn't up. you name a color in your uh, life trade. drag palette? Trade? Trade. Correct. It's trade. I've been I mean, I've been saying trade for a long, long, long time, but in case you don't know, it's a trade gay is term. like a gay term or like a hookup. And it's usually like a hot guy that's very like you know, there's like a Like they say on drag race, who's the, the trade, trade of the season? season. The like the hottie of the season. Who's the hottie that you'd want to pound? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is a trade. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm looking. Um, I'm pit. on the hunt. I'm, I'm still that. hungry. That's a pit. My oven is still on and I'm baking at 350. All right, well. And it needs to be taken out. I'm going to just send this email. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're like, all right, kidding. we'll go right ahead. So tomorrow, Laura, if you don't hear from me at nighttime, just know. I'm so if he's out. silent, was he silenced or is he I silent? I was, in fact, silenced. Mm. Mm -hmm, by his piece. Um... The sound you'll hear when you switch your business to Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell, online, in person, on social media, and beyond. And the cool thing about Shopify, you guys, is that they can convert everything that you need from your site or before onto Shopify's thing. They make it so much easier to migrate everything over. It's literally like headache free. And there's so many brands on there. Ruggable, Alberts, Magnolia, Brooklyn, Minimum Glossier, LA, Minimum Lunar LA, Beauty. Lunar Beauty. <laughs> There's so many shops on there. You guys, I and Laura are huge fans of Shopify. We've been on Shopify for since the beginning of our brand's conception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're humongous advocates for Shopify. I love Shopify. If you guys want to sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at Shopify.com slash full coverage, that's all lover case. That's one month for just $1 at Shopify.com slash full coverage. Shopify.com slash full coverage. Thank you so much to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Who wants better sex and who wants to start having it immediately? Woo! <laughs> yeah, the best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com right now. You guys, the thing with adamandeve.com is that they're offering 50% off about just about any item plus free shipping, and that includes rush processing. They have 
everything. Everything toys, under the sun. Laundry. Manny knows. He stays on that website, honey. <laughs> Baby, I have bought from that side myself. Life size Lou. <laughs> Life size Lou. The size Lou. of me, Laura. The size of me. He it loves it. I love sickening. it too. I've actually bought stuff off there. I also have bachelorette gifts and they have the Ooh. cutest stuff, seriously, for bachelorette gifts. So be sure and check out Adam and Eve. They got all the good good there. They also have discreet shipping. So if you want to order something a little risque, a little kinky, you don't have to worry about any of your neighbors knowing because the packaging is discreet. Just enter the code full at checkout. That's full F-O-O-L at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast. So be sure to use this code full to get your discount 50% off almost any item plus free shipping and get it fast with rush processing code full. Okay, guys, we're going to jump into our conspiracy theories. We have five, and we want to tap into basically the bullet points on these five conspiracies. Our first one we want to talk about is Marilyn Monroe was killed by the government because she knew the state's secret. So it wasn't the original Marilyn Monroe death stated as a suicide? Yeah, so it was like a probable overdose that she... Probably that's how it happened. Mm -hmm. So the the conspiracy is that the government actually had her killed. So because of her affair with JFK or his brother. It says that the affair could have also been with a brother. Mm -hmm. Um, So they think that she knew information about the government from her connection with higher ups, such as the president or his brother that she was allegedly hooking up with. Mm -hmm. And that basically the government needed to take care of the problem. But because it, it was like so there's just so the problem aka okay, would be like her like breaching security or of just knowing things that she's not allowed to know because mm-hmm. of the fact that she's not clearanced for it yes i had heard like that was another thing too like this is obviously another conspiracy on top of the conspiracy that had to do with like extraterrestrials like, I, I saw i saw that too something with like extraterrestrials that like they had told her that extraterrestrials were real uh, or like talked to her about it and that they were all like people the government was nervous that she was gonna like be a whistleblower or Mm -hmm. leak or talk about it and that they just had her killed and said to like to make sure that the security wasn't like national security wasn't at risk did you know that there was barely any evidence to Marilyn Monroe uh, meeting with President JFK? Like, they only have two on record times. I mean, them two having an affair was such big, like, like conspiracy, like conspiracy, I guess. Yeah. Like, it was, but it's. I should... literally thought it was real. Like, I thought they did have an affair. Like, that, that like, to me. Because it was so talked about. It was so about. talked about. I thought that that was a real thing. But it actually turns out that, like, w- the public does not have proof that they've even been together more than twice. And same thing with his brother, like that she had only been around them like maybe two times. So it could have been absolutely like, the whole the whole thing could just be conspiracy. Totally. Just like they could have never even hooked up. They could have 100%. never even had any relations whatsoever. Yeah. And okay, so wait, so we have to do this for every single one. We're gonna say, do we think it's true or it's false? Do we believe the conspiracy or do we not believe the conspiracy? That's what we have to say. Okay. For deal? me, deal. Deal. For me, I think that there is a possibility it wasn't a suicide, but I don't know if the affair aspect or the government information aspect is true. Right. I think like there could have been a foul play. She, foul play. I think she could have gotten in there over her head with maybe something. Marilyn Monroe was in so many and things. Everything. And she was like the most famous woman at that time. So it's hard for people to believe she would just off herself right like how like you know what girl, i'm saying exactly. so people just are not okay with that even though her toxicology report which i mean i guess that could always what's be a barbiturate so i know that's it was like a pill. barbiturate. okay got it so that i know it's like a barbiturate overdose but it's like what if it was an accidental overdose it could have been an See, accident that's very true but so what, 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 what is your real, thoughts i think that I kind of believe the conspiracy. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I do think that there was some foul play at hand because I don't think that she would, again, like you said, like would just off herself like that at, at this time of her life. She was like the pinnacle peak of her career. They're sleeping pills, by the way. Got it. See, so then that makes it kind of different because I feel like a sleeping pill that and then she could have easily just been like might, might have taken just like the wrong dose, wrong drinking, drinking with it. That can make your body like act up differently. But I definitely don't know if I believe the idea of like them talking to her about aliens. And that's why like the government decided to step in and and make it look like she was killed. It says she had a phone in her hand. They found her dead with the phone in her hand. Which is interesting. Oh, because there's no text back then. Yeah. So you can't even know <laughs> what's on the phone. Imagine an iPhone. Fuck. No. Um, I was like, if she had an mm-hmm, iPhone on her, mm-hmm. that would be She quite... was locked in her bedroom. Um, Wait. And she died alone. 
So she was locked in her bedroom. She, that like, alone. She, oh, like as if she had locked the door herself. Locked the bedroom door. I don't know, And that she died only a month after she calls international headlines for failure to work out a commitment in the 20th, something to give. So there's a film, I guess, she was supposed okay, to be okay. in, uh-huh. and then that fell through Got it. a month earlier. But again, I just don't see, I think that, again, it's Marilyn. So she was like this, you know, this bombshell famous person. Yeah. I just don't think that she would willfully do it. It could have been one, an accident, that- and two potential foul play i think that's why people have such a hard time believing the suicide because of that part right there i think Mm -hmm. that's why people have made so many conspiracies about Mm -hmm. it because it's it's very hard to believe also she grew up her real name's norma jean i mean she grew up not this person so it's like she made it to this level of success but you never know normal jean normal jean i actually read a book but it was so long ago so i can't even remember but she used to write in her diary and they published it as a book and it was called like the maryland the norma jean diaries Mm. so i read all her thoughts and i remember that time thinking her suicide wasn't it wasn't a suicide see i feel like it could have been an accident Mm -hmm. or i i'm more so on the accident realm knowing that it's like a sleeping aid and right. I, am on the, I think it could have been an accident. On the, like, people murder. actually do that. That's like an often thing that happens. I know, especially people. if they mix it with like the wrong thing. And the thing is, like, mm-hmm. you know, when you're famous like that, like it just, just happened doing to Matthew the fuck... Perry. It was an exactly. accident. Like exactly. he took the medication, got in the hot tub, and the two things didn't mix. Mm-hmm. Like the mm-hmm. heat and the yes. medicine. It was an yes. accident. <gasps> <gasps> what? There's a spider. Oh my god! I thought it was like a rat. Oh. <laughs> I, I got scared of the spider. I thought... it's, it's it's crawling that way though. Um. Do we get it? No. Or just let it live. Let it live. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Going back. It's like crawling up your side of your face. No, I'm, I'm keeping a strong eye on uh, it now. I'm scared. I'm going to keep my feet up. Yeah, just keep your, just keep your feet up. Because it's big. It's like this Sorry big. Sorry if you're listening. I blew your ear, John. I got it's scared. Big. No, it's, it's not. it's on the couch. It's yes. not on the couch? Yes. On, under. On. Where on? Like right here. No. Yes. Are you being dead serious? Girl, it's right there now. Now that it's crawled over here. I swear to God. Is. Look. Oh, no. okay. It was crawling that way. I'm leaving that. I'm going to leave it. Laura, it's this big. <laughs> it's tiny. No, it, it really is. It's like that big with the legs. It's tiny. The body's not that big, but I'm the gonna legs. I'm going to leave it. Okay, so our next conspiracy theory, this one is the lamest one out of all of them, <laughs> but the, to me. Okay, okay, okay. But it's that Taylor Swift is like a clone. This one I don't buy. I don't buy this one because it doesn't make sense. This one I'm going to go sense. ahead and just not buy this one whatsoever. So what's the actual story behind it? So the story behind it is that the leader of a satanic church, <laughs> I think actually her father was the leader and she kind of like got adopted into it because okay. the daughter. Mm-hmm. Her name is Zena and her marriage name is Shrek. Zena Shrek. They look her, her, her she's a high priest of a satanic church, but her okay. father founded the church. So she looks identical to Taylor Swift. No. Yeah. It looks like Taylor Swift in a past life. But so they're saying that Xena is Taylor. And Taylor is Xena. Like it's the same person. Like it's the same human being. Yes. And that she's... She but just it doesn't. Is living forever. Let me tell you why this doesn't make sense. Zena is still alive today. <laughs> <laughs> like she's still here, and they have a so they're huge not the same age person. gap. Like they're not even the same age, and like Zena is still alive. So this one is it, it, it. It's crazy. Wait. So then. So, but why are they saying that they? Is it like like does they Zena look sing? alike and they sing and oh, they both make music? So they're basically so they look alike and they make music, and so that's why we have a full conspiracy that Taylor Swift. It's a pretty is big a conspiracy too, because I looked it up on YouTube and Google, and like there's articles everywhere about her being a clone. It's Shrek, who's the Zena. Taylor is her clone. Because she's still alive, so they can't say they're the same person because there's two of them. Right, like they can't say that. But they're basically saying that it was either her of a past life as Xena or they cloned Xena to to be a famous a star. <gasps> so mm-hmm. like they're trying to infiltrate. Mm-hmm. They're trying to infiltrate the media. Yeah. The satanic church is trying to infiltrate the media. Yeah. I mean, that's what people say, like that there's a lot of satanic influence in music. Exactly. A lot of people say that. Like, exactly. That's not like it's not true. So like, that's there's, like, like where the theory kind of. Yes. That's like very like you know with like what well, I would say like people say that that about Doja Cat they say that about um fuck what's that one other artist that did the shoes that had a drop of blood in it oh uh, Nas Nas, 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 Nas X. X they say that about him so who know maybe like 
it could be there's like there's, there could be something to it but i don't think that they decided to clone this random lady's body cells uh, cells and turn her, her into taylor, taylor swift, swift. i and just created, don't and this one is a no for me taylor swift this one's a hard hard it's a boot. hard it's a boot it's, it's a not boot. a toot it's a boot it's not a toot it's an absolute boot from me i don't believe that she's cloned i think that she has her gifts from god actually how about that i actually have to that? agree i don't think taylor's clone i think taylor is just taylor i don't think she's xena i don't think she's the leader of a satanic cult <laughs> I don't. No, the only cult that she leads is the Swifties. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Um, but yeah, she was not reincarnated, like chilling. Just chilling. No, she's chilling. I think that she's, again, like I said, I think actually it's the opposite. I think that she gets her gifts from a god. Well, our next one is a little bit deeper because it's Princess no. Diana. Oh, right. So you guys already know the conspiracy of she, it, it was not the wreck that killed her. Like it was on purpose. Like it, it, a lot. there's a lot of speculation as to who did it or who caused the car wreck that killed Princess up Diana. Yeah, like yeah. there's a lot of different speculation there. But the point of the conspiracy is that it was no accident. It was done on purpose. So. Oh, okay, got it. So that the that's the the point is that it was a murder mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of it being an, an accidental accident. accident. So I want to break down a couple things about. Um, Lord, I Princess think this one is like true. Oh, this one. Like I wait till I okay, tell okay. you the facts because I, I think you'll scream. It's funny because I've already read this article, by the way. But we're gonna base off of the points of the article. So she, so she married Charles, who was Queen Elizabeth's son. Mm -hmm. So he was next in line to be king. Mm -hmm. So it was a really big deal for who Charles married. Charles at the time was choosing between Camilla and Diana. Now, Diana was a school teacher and it was made to believe that she was a normal person. She actually wasn't a normal person. Her family for heirs and heirs and heirs of her family were in bed with the royal family. So mm. much so that she lived on the royal family's land and they, the house, the mansion, the castle that Princess Diana grew up in was owned by the royal family. And they basically it. leased it out to her family. They were in cahoots like this her mm -hmm. whole life. So for her to be in line to marry it was totally normal like it made sense it made sense the only reason she was a school teacher is because during her year she wanted to branch out and do some stuff so yeah. she did that mm -hmm. you know she became a school which is really cool that's sweet he ended up choosing diana um to no one shock. yes to no, to no one's one shock. shock he chose diana they got married from the jump you know there's several interviews that have come out about the unhappiness like even charles mm. makes remarks are you in love with her whatever love is is whatever is what he replies with like lots of remarks alluding that he does not in fact love her which mm -hmm. makes me wonder why didn't he just choose camilla i think and it was discussed with the royal family you don't really get all the choices you think like you don't you get, get a pick like yeah. they like it's known that the royal family doesn't like camilla right and it's like a political thing too and like Diana's family is so high end and for for years and generations exactly. with the royals. So he picked Diana. Um it was a really messy messy marriage. Mm -hmm. Um they both cheated actually and they both came forth cheated. Mm -hmm. Um he was seeing Camilla. He also uh -huh. got like an assistant pregnant, like Damn. messy, messy. And it was alleged that he told Diana because Diana would out them on a lot of stuff. So Diana yeah. was on the bad side of the family. But right. he told but like Diana, I will not be the only what what is he when he's not the king? He's not the duchess. What is he? Prince. Duke? He's prince. OK. When he was just a prince, he said, I will not be the only prince to not have an affair. Yeah, I mean. The royal family is just probably just cheaters. Girl, nasty. So oh, she was seeing a guy named James Hewitt at the same time. Mm -hmm. She had an affair. She comes out in an interview, by the way, and says so all the bitch this. bitch is my turn. He looks identical to Harry. Red hair, face, oh. everything. So there's a lot of speculation that allegedly James Hewitt, who she had been sleeping with for years and years, is the father of him. Hmm. That he's not actual, that he's not actual royalty because his dad is not Charles. And they've never done a blood test? <gasps> or they have done it behind there the scenes. There it is. See, now you're thinking like and the royals. We don't know what would the about royals it? do? They would do it. Period. They would do it 100%, but they would keep it hush hush. Period. They would keep the answers very hush hush. They would they would hide everything. So Even if he wasn't royal, they wouldn't say. They wouldn't say. Mm -mm. So in 1992, they got separated. And in 1995, Diana sat down and did one of the biggest interviews on the BBC exposing everything. 
Basically, the Meghan Markle and Harry yep, yep. Oprah interview. Mm -hmm. She does she that. It. She says, I cheated. He cheated. The royals are after me. They're horrible. Yeah, she exposes all yes. of them. So they're on her ass. 1996, the queen basically asked them to finalize their divorce. They did. She so said, they're divorced now. So then... Um, the paparazzi actually gets higher for Princess Diana. They're speculating more on her. It's crazy after they divorce. Like, they're even after her more. Yeah. Charles states Camilla. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, which, by the way, they still hate. And it's like it functions at that time. The queen makes Camilla, like, sit away from You're all that. Yeah, like so a lot of drama in that. They don't like her. Okay, so in 1996, they finalized the divorce. In 1997, Diana starts dating a famous Egyptian son who's an heir to a bil Egyptian billionaire. Oh. Mm -hmm. He was, he was kind of fooling too. You know, oh. She was a little thing, honey. Oh. Um, so she starts dating this billionaire. So the paparazzi at this time are like insane. Like insane. They're on her ass. Like, the, like she can't do anything or go anywhere. Okay. Ugh. So they, it was alleged that she was going to get engaged this night because the guy she was dating had two rings delivered to the hotel they were staying at mm. that night and they had dinner plans. They went to go to dinner. They could not get in the restaurant because the paparazzi were so aggressive. Crazy. They couldn't even get to the restaurant. They had to go back to the hotel. They were then trapped at the hotel. Um, so they wanted to go back to his house and just get out of there. So they created a diversion where at the front of the hotel, they lined up all of her security. So they're assuming Princess Diana is going to walk out. And so you have all the paparazzi at the front of the hotel. Princess Diana sneaks out of the back of the hotel mm -hmm. with her, her man, and the head of security of the hotel. Right. He's the driver of the car. Head of security of the hotel is driver of the car. Her security guard personal is like, I don't want you to drive off. I'm going to get in the car, too. Okay. So now there's four of them in the car. Princess mm -hmm. Diana, her boyfriend are in the back seat. Driver of the car is the head of security at the hotel they were and staying at, security. which by the way, that hotel was owned by the man's father, the Egyptian billionaire. Okay. Okay. Head of security drives the car. Her personal security is sitting up front. The paparazzis end up finding out anyways and chasing them down. Now they're in a black Mercedes and the black Mercedes is going at 65 miles an hour through a dark tunnel way over the speed limit. Mm -hmm. Super fast. They lose control. They crash. Everyone dies except for her personal security guard. But he can't remember anything because he's so badly injured. Right. All he could remember is getting in the car. Okay. So there's this is where the conspiracy lies in because there were a lot of witnesses and a lot of things that people saw, but the things weren't reported. You're such a good storyteller. <sighs> I, I took a lot Fuck, of notes on Laura. this. This is a big one. This is a big You're one. You're such a good fucking storyteller. So they did the blood alcohol level of the driver who's head of security at the hotel. It was three times the limit. The man was drunk. Oh, my God. The man was drunk. He was, he was fucked drunk, up. fucked up. But what didn't make sense to anyone is why her security would let him drive or why he would let the princess Diana get in a car with a guy three times over the fucking limit. And you could probably himself. tell he was drunk too. So then you they have tell. all this footage of him at the hotel and he seems so normal. But you know what? You can be three times over the limit to me and, and seem normal on camera. Because what's the limit? It's like, like point one, eight, a point eight? Very low. Point it's very whatever. low. So three times that. Yeah, but he also had prescription pills in his, his system on top of being three times over the limit on alcohol. So that could have given him a little... He also had carbon monoxide poisoning in his system. So if you're three times over the limit, you're on prescription pills, you have carbon monoxide poisoning, you would not be conscious. So they're thinking they switched his report with someone else to blame the wreck on his drunk driving. 100%. That's what it sounds like to me. So then they're like, well, did he get the carbon monoxide poisoning from the wreck and breathing, oh, yeah, breathing in chemicals? In. Mm -hmm. You can only do that if you're alive. He was dead. Like they said, there the were instantly. So he couldn't have carbon monoxide poisoning in his system. And the report says he did. So there's a conspiracy there where it like kind of debunks like was his drinking the cause. So it goes back and forth there. Mm -hmm. So live with that. Then mm -hmm. you also have reports of the paparazzi. They found reports of a white. It was called a Fiat, but kind of like a little Pinto Bean SUV back mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. That hit them and ran them off the road. And they have two paparazzis that were after Princess Diana that had that car. 
They investigate, oh. but uh huh. They, they, and so they, and then both the people, paparazzis that had that white Fiat car, one person got theirs painted and the other one got their <sighs> car. They sold it immediately and got the bumpers changed on it. Fishy. That's because very fishy. there's a big speculation you paint it suddenly and then you that sell the paparazzi caused the wreck to get the pictures to sell because uh. she was the number one hot commodity to sell your pictures. And the paparazzis were after them. So why not cause a wreck? You get pictures of Princess Diana and her new boyfriend in a wreck. You're going to cash out so Crazy, fucking big. This is when they were getting money for photos. So after the wreck happens and before the police can get there, the paparazzis are already there because remember they were hot on their tail and he was driving that fast to get away from the paparazzi. Uh -huh. So the paparazzi were in 30 inches, they said, from her face while she's laying there dying, taking pictures of her. That happened. That's real. So there's a conspiracy that the paparazzis caused the wreck on purpose to get the pictures. They didn't know how much damage would be done, but they wanted the pictures and they right. acted on it. They got the pictures. 30 inches from her face uh -huh, taking photos. Uh-huh. Before police could get there. How crazy is that? By the way, her boyfriend, dead on the scene, he flew from the car. Oh out of the God. car. Yeah. No one was buckled up, but her security guard, and he was the only one that that's lived. Why survived. Mm -hmm, that's why he survived. If that's not a reason to put Buckle seatbelts up. on. This episode of Full Coverage is sponsored by Smalls. Smalls Cat Food is a protein-packed recipes made with preservative-free ingredients you'd find in your fridge and is delivered right to your door. So make it your New Year's resolution to get your cat to eat healthier with Smalls. We were looking for healthier options for mm -hmm. our cats, but cats are such picky creatures Oof. that it's hard to do, but they freaking love Smalls. Their mm -hmm. favorite is the ground bird and the fish. They yeah. go crazy for it, and it makes us feel so good feeding a healthy meal to our cat. So they make it so easy. And what's cool is there was one meal in there my cats didn't love as much. So they mm. actually allowed for us to switch out. Oh. Yeah, you can customize it. Wait, to that's the, actually really cool. It's really cool. So we've been loving it. I'm telling you, it's such a good switch. It's 2024. Are you still feeding your cat kibble? Head to smalls.com slash full and use promo code full at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find. But you have to use our code full for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code FOOL for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. Okay, next conspiracy. So get this, to why people believe that the royals were behind it. The tunnel they went in had 14 security cameras in the tunnel. Uh-huh. Magically, none of the security cameras worked that night. However, 15 minutes after the wreck, someone got a speeding ticket through the working cameras. Shut this up. is factual, yeah. But there's no footage. And they said from the hotel to the tunnels, there were like a tons of cameras that would have seen stuff through the city. Uh huh. They were able to get not able to get any of that footage. And police reports. And what, so, they just, the, so they just weren't recording, or they Correct. just couldn't get it. Correct. We're not. They said that cameras they were, were not recording. Uh huh. But someone got a speeding ticket that night from those cameras in the tunnel. Hmm. Interesting, right? See, this is this this is why this conspiracy I like. There's fully so many believe. moving parts. I Another fully part it. is that they're saying that the driver was in on it and was hired to make the wreck happen and kill himself. That's what I was like, y'all. Suicide? Himself? Nah, nah, nah. This isn't a freaking. Like, and the biggest on. conspiracy is obviously that the royal family is behind all of it. They don't even blame Queen Elizabeth. They say that, like, if you're in the, allegedly, if you're in the royal family, things go above the queen. Like, so okay, many yeah, high so many things going on. Like, they can make stuff happening. And you have to remember, Princess Diana is breaking all the rules. R she's totally. not being their little soldier for, you know, she's divorced now. Yep. She's also doing move. She was doing a really big movement at this time to end all all landmines because in this isn't people are getting blown up all over mm -hmm. the world from a bunch of landmines so this is a big thing she act that she was trying to propose to congress or yeah. what what it may be and like that was about to go through so they're speculating that like she pissed some people world leaders off essentially yeah. and they wanted to get rid of her because it was just the start and she was so seen and visible so and visible and she was and using all to her of her relevancy to for do for good. for good but it was disrupting you know and it's like a no-no. As a woman, you shouldn't be acting like that and doing that. So, Especially that time. Another reason. 
Okay, so now that you know all the little ins and outs, and there's more, but these are some of the things that happen that cause the speculation. Mm -hmm. These are some of the mains. Um, What do you think? I think they totally did it. I think that the royal family. I think that, or in some capacity, like some type of. I don't think that it was an accident. Is what I'm saying. I think that it was on purpose. Whether it was the royal family, whether it was, you know, the government, whether it was something. I do think that. She pissed some people off Mm -hmm. and somehow the really the one thing to me that really gags me is more so like the security being off like the cameras Mm -hmm. and the tunnels like being off at that time. Mm -hmm. But then suddenly there's a someone gets a ticket from it like that to me is like. Also, when Princess Diana divorced, they offered her all the security from the royal family to keep the two kids and her safe because obviously it's dangerous for her to be out in the world. Right. And she denied all of their security because she was terrified of what they were going to do to her as well as you cannot trust their security because they are literally just going to stop and watch her and yeah. tell the royal family her every move and where she's at. So she would not take any of the security and she hired all of her own. She also let all of her own security, including her butler, which one of her best friends know that she is so terrified of the royal, royal family. She knows they're stalking her. She knows they're watching her every move and she knows they have her phones bug. She had him take apart her phones many times to find I don't know if she found any bugs. It's yeah. not reported that but she, she was did, but she was strongly convinced that they were probably gonna harm her i believe it i'm not gonna like what about you do you she's 36 years old and i i just feel like i feel personally they were involved i think the royal family i don't know who in the royal family i don't know there's i'm sure there's capacity of people we don't even know exist that run Mm -hmm. the show behind Mm -hmm. the scenes i mean look at all the stuff that has come out on them over absolutely absolutely and they're still praised and still looked at as like gods it's crazy are they still even now though yes yeah kate come on yeah yeah charles and kate look at them look how they're praised so you know i don't know i feel like someone i think there's foul play i think she pissed off the wrong people in the royal family she wasn't a soldier and did everything they told her to do and now there's foul play 100 percent, 100 percent. yeah i mean after all the fucking documentaries you've seen also it took queen elizabeth a really long time to make a statement after princess diana died which was suspect to the people like how long and the here? kingdom would not lower their flags because they only do that for royalty and they're like she's no longer royal uh, that's crazy i mean i don't know i feel like the royal family thing it's like just like an old it's, i thought that was a more so like just like an old tradition at this point it's like girl it's outdated it's outdated mm-hmm. like it, it's 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 so mm-hmm. sad she was only 36 years old so young so young and she was just getting started on all her movements too like she had so much to live they for. They knew that she was a force to be reckoned exactly. with. Exactly, and they, they said, knew let's, "Let's let's take it out now." All the movements that she was going to do, and they knew that how strong she had ties to the royal family. So anything she does was she reflecting she, she knew back a lot on of them. Of theirs. She knew all their secrets. I mean, look at Meghan Markle and Harry. Exactly. So. Yeah, I think uh, the royal family had to do with it. I don't know how and I don't know the whys, but I know enough to. Also, they embalmed her body, which I'm I don't know what embalmed means. I'm assuming basically they couldn't do more. it. I guess so, but to get it buried because they uh-huh. wanted to do more investigations on autopsy of her. But they they had higher ups wanted her body embalmed very quickly. So they weren't able to do that. And she died. Also, they had speculation because they tracked the ambulance and the amount of time it took the ambulance to pick her up. Uh, the ambulance made multiple stops on the way to the hospital, which was weird because she was going into cardiac arrest and literally dying. And she ended up dying on the operating table. She did not die instantly. She, she was alive instantly. when they found her. Um, but there were a lot of ambulance drivers that spoke to that and said, when you have a patient that's dying or going into cardiac arrest, it's very normal for us to pull over. 
Oh, to they like said help that's real quick. Ve- uh-uh. yes, yes. They Got said it. that's very, very normal as an ambulance driver to pull over whenever a patient is literally in that condition. Mm-hmm. And so they got her to the hospital operating Maybe because, like, table. the movement, like, everything, just all those aspects right, of it. Yeah. Right, So, I mean, I wouldn't really know, but that's what a lot of ambulance... They were just kind of debunking that one a little mm-hmm. bit, but they, come on, there's so much... But there's so many. There's so many. There's so much fishiness about there's it. There's too much fishiness, man. There's so much fishiness about it. Yep, that's what I believe. Yeah. I, can, I believe this conspiracy. This is a yes for me. A toot. You want to touch on Katy Perry? Is, is Katy Perry John Benet Ramsey grown up? So, do you guys know the story about John Benet Ramsey of like, you know, this pageant girl, gorgeous little little mm-hmm. kid, gets murdered in her own basement? Mm-hmm. Do we know who is it? Like, we do it? now due to familial DNA testing, but we didn't forever, and the world blamed the parents, and it was not the parents. It was not the parents. And it was actually the parents that, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they were the ones to push. It was the father who was Mm -hmm. like, I want to re-figure this out. I want to open this case back up. I want to get her DNA out and test it to to say who it is. So he was guilty. Why Why would would he want want to do that? He would never want to do that. He would never do that. Mm -hmm. But the conspiracy is that, that she actually is alive and she's Katy Perry. This one, I'm going to say, is a stretch for me. This one is a far stretch from me. Let me pull up the freaking. Yeah, pull it up. Let me pull up the Artie. Hold on. Okay, so let me just give up a little bit of the information really quickly. So John Benny Ramsey, was the murder was in 1996 when she was just six years old. So she was just a little girl. And the circumstances surrounding her death of the child beauty queen raised eyebrows, including the draft of a ransom note, which also was crazy in Colorado, like the ransom note. Um... And why would they want to murder a little six year old little girl? Uh, and there was a lot of, you know, forums talking about it, allegedly kind of what was going on, the conspiracies behind it. So the weird thing to me is that the Katy Perry thing, like where that came out of, like, I feel like it came out of nowhere. Like, where, how did that even happen? So basically, this is how it happened. So the reason that it started was that in 2014, a YouTuber named Dave Johnson published a video proposing that the theory that John Bonet Ramsey is actually Katy Perry. So that's kind of where uh, it started was from a YouTube video, which is like so crazy YouTube, that like, like a YouTube uh-huh. video, like creating this mass conspiracy. Basically, he said that like, you know, she was like publicly dead, but they put her in hiding for years and years and years mm-hmm. then something katie perry comes out i kiss a girl in 2008 and, like, and they're like he's like her. saying that oh she's back like john Monet ramsey this is her grown up a couple things don't make sense there one well she's also six years older she katie katie is six years older but two i watched a documentary on katie perry and it shows all her childhood videos of her because oh. katie perry's been a singer since she was like john Bonet ramsey's age and like they have all the footage and she looks nothing like john Bonet ramsey as a child by the way no i'm like no, and like she's like singing, doing little country concerts and stuff. So, so it's just funny to me that like out of just so this is literally a conspiracy out of literal thin air at this point that this YouTuber just says, I think Katy Perry's John Bonnet Ramsey. And it stuck and it and went it on national stuck. news. Like it hit all the national platforms. No. Yes, his story got so big, but it's so stupid. Like uh, his his facts are so stupid. Are, as are to not why. facts. They're, they're, they're just not like facts. random little opinions thoughts. at this point. Yes. I think that one's crazy. That one, I'm going to have to go and say it's a boot. There's no facts it's to it. I don't believe it. I don't think that, I think sadly that she really was murdered. Yeah. You know, as a six-year-old little girl, which mm-hmm. is just, mm-hmm. honestly, it's so, like, it's just so sad because, like, that story was so big because of how just sick it was and twisted oh, yeah. as a literal, uh, like, who would kill a little six-year-old kid? And then kid? everybody blamed the parents, which made yes. the story kind of blow up worse because yes. it's like, what kid, what parents would do that six to their kid. Old. And the mom was like obsessed with her, like wanted to be a pageant queen. And so she made John Bonet a pageant queen. So people questioned that. But then why would she do that? Then she would be exactly. like, okay, you're going to be a pageant. You're going to be fucking, you're going to go to Miss USA. Right. Like obviously like she essentially groomed her to be a pageant winner, mm-hmm. pageant queen. Of course, she's not going to just stop there as a, as a little pageant kid. Right. Right. I mean, if that was the case, then it'd be very much like that with that one YouTuber. So isn't that it just true got fucking time that they still don't know who actually killed John Bonet Ramsey? That's what I saw. I said that was just a ransom note. Like we still don't know we who don't, did it because they had they found DNA on her pajamas, but I believe we still don't know who did it. Like it's unsolved, right? Still, yeah, I think it's still. 
Or maybe they're testing it now because I the remember thing is the, if they're not if that blood's not in the system or that DNA's not in the system, they're not gonna get it. Like Do you know one of because you know I love my crime dogs. Do you know mm-hmm. what one of the strongest, most like lasting forms of DNA is? Sperm. 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 I actually just guessed that. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. But that was just my assumption. So like like that's like, like glue. Stay. Yeah, it's like glue. It's like glue. Um, there was a murder case where a woman was like thrown in the lake for like weeks and they got her out and there's still sperm on You're her kidding. and they were able to catch the killer yeah how crazy that shit will not quit mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. okay so yes yeah, so I, I i don't think that they know you know who did it yeah necessarily yeah the so. whole case was just absolutely horrible and it is like just this like literal nightmare of a case i would say i can't even imagine because she was brutally killed the little girl was really brutally killed, it, you know, so it's, it's really, just really sad. Yeah. Horrible. So I can't imagine going through that, losing your daughter and then getting blamed for it all by the whole country. Literally. I can't even but imagine. Like, it was the parents. Yeah. But I it's can't like, even imagine. That's horrible. It literally is horrible. Mm. So, no, I, I think that one's a boot. I think it's a boot. I do not believe this conspiracy. I think that it was just, it really was just this horrible, horrific murder case. And then the last conspiracy, which we have actually done an entire episode dedicated to this. So I might just link it down below if you guys want to see the Avril Lavigne, Melissa, Vendella. doppelganger. We'll give you the really vibe. quick rundown of what the conspiracy actually is. Mm-hmm. But basically they believe that Avril committed suicide and... A doppelganger of her named Melissa Vandella mm-hmm. replaced her because the record labels didn't want to lose out on all the money because her music being so big at the time. Mm-hmm. And then whenever and they trained her to be just like Avril. Mm-hmm. This exactly. one's crazy because I it feel like is. this one's actually gotten really. That one was gotten really. This big. one has more evidence to it. I right. don't know if I believe it still, but it has so much more evidence versus like the Katy Perry one. Is right, so just silly. like out of the, like. Like, okay, that's just a, a thought. Yes. Or so, this one's like the interviews and the fucking, uh-huh. the everything, the mannerisms, the Avril voice. Avril posted also a post that said Avril is dead. And like that definitely started it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, I feel like she's just because she's like just a a punk emo, yes. like goth girl. Yeah. But that's why she's like, it's like, that's like what they would say Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like or like it's almost like the idea of like let's say it being like if i was like manny is dead it's like yeah the old me is dead like it was it wouldn't say like has done that too exactly it's kind of like that's not really saying like she's literally dead and i've replaced her she avril's also shot down the rumors like she's had come out and said that that's not true but there's been a lot of like things like they found a a picture of um like Avril or Melissa written on her hand, like basically yep. trying to say, I'm Melissa, I'm not Avril. Like, yes, like little clues. Yes. She's trying to let out. I don't know. And apparently, Michelle's um is shorter in height, and they can tell that like Avril didn't shrink. They're like, this girl's shorter. So there are a couple of things that um have evidence to people believing she's in comparison to for the record label to keep making money. I don't know if I believe it though, I will say. I know. I understand that there's more evidence behind it and like there's it's too people, crazy. Are, but I think that it's just so outlandish. But like Hollywood is crazy. Yeah. Let's think about that. Yeah. Hollywood is fucking. I mean, look insane. at the royal family. Uh, insane. Like, there's just so like when there's a lot of money involved, people will do crazy scary crazy, things. Crazy, crazy things. So it's like I wonder if that has anything, you know, there's some validity to it in mm-hmm. some capacity. Mm-hmm. But if Avril himself has been like, no, it's not real. It's not real. Guys. It's not real. Um I feel like it's it's probably going to be. It's Avril. I think it's probably not real. I don't think this one's real. Yeah. This is a conspiracy I'm not really 100% on. But it is. there's something very uh, interesting about it. It has more facts, so it makes it more interesting. But yeah. That's our last conspiracy. We'll link down our episode that is the Avril episode if you guys want to listen to more. More deep diving. But that okay. is it for our conspiracy episode. I like it. I, I think that conspiracy thing is really fun. Um, There's something really like interesting about it to me. Even here, so like when you were telling me more about that Diana story, I was like, Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I was doing I was a lot of research on it last night. I watched like five YouTube videos on it. I read articles because there's so many conspiracies so yeah. as to why the that royal family the did. There's more, by the way. That I just did the tip of the iceberg yeah. for the cliff notes, but there are so many more little things that happened and like they like people that were after her that we haven't even discussed mm-hmm. that people think could have done it. That it's the endless list of, of conspiracies on the Diana thing. 
at the end of the day, the conspiracy is they think it wasn't an accident, but right. there's so many moving parts on that one. It's like reasons. who did it mm-hmm. and for all the different reasons. Yeah. Right, right. Whereas the other one's a little bit more like Yeah. Cut and dry, mm-hmm. a little bit shorter. Mm-hmm. But regardless, I think that I think that the conspiracy thing is really fun. Like I want to do a a makeup conspiracy. Oh. Makeup brand conspiracy. Mm. Foundation's actually really good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyway, guys, that is it for today's episode. We hope you guys enjoyed the conspiracies of life. And that is it. And don't forget to uh, let us know which ones you believe and which ones you don't believe. We, I'm very intrigued. Yeah. Are aliens real? Yes. And they flopped too because no one cared. No one really cared about mm. the aliens. They were like, they're there real. No, like, and everybody was like, I don't, there needs to be a big mass alien thing for right, it to be really believe, like right. to really like care. It just wasn't enough. To yeah, just say it's like they're the real. videos, like the little like videos of like the saucers and stuff. It's like it's not enough at this point. Yeah, you know, in, well, in you can our make America, anything, you can make our anything world? now though. You can create, exactly. so it's hard for harder for people to believe when exactly. they know the abilities of creation. Totally. I mean, it's funny, but I do find it funny that it's like leaked footage of like the Navy's cameras. Or the like, Air Force cameras, and they're like, everybody's like, sure, Jan. This is real. Like, this is literally the real. And everyone's like, no. I don't believe it. <laughs> the economy's bad right now. <laughs> I'm not dealing with aliens, too. No, we can't do the aliens. We can't as do well. aliens, Fuck. too. But that's it for today's episode, guys. We will catch you on next week's episode. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.